Welcome to Marketing 10. This is a series of marketing videos in 10 minutes or less. Today, I'm gonna to be creating a Google Ads Performance Max campaign. So let's get started here in Google Ads, and you can see I have a Performance Max campaign already running here in my account, and you can see I am getting great results from it, only spending $30, and I have over a 1,000 clicks, and my average cost per click is three cents. I've driven 630 conversions for a cost per conversion of five cents. So it's very much outperforming any campaign I've ever ran in Google Ads for my business, and it's outperforming my search campaign. So what we wanna do first is click on the plus sign to create a new campaign, and with Performance Max, you really wanna use the sales or leads objective so that you can drive conversions for your website. You can also use website traffic, local store visits and promotions, or create a campaign without a goals guidance. So in my case, I'm gonna choose sales here, and my main conversion goal is gonna be purchases, so I'm gonna remove these other two conversion goals down here. Now keep in mind, you're gonna see the best performance from Performance Max if you do have revenue or some type of value attached to your conversions. So in my case, I'm just counting every single affiliate click on my website, so there's no value attached to it. So we're gonna click on continue and choose purchases here. So now we have performance max here. We're reaching audiences across all of Google with a single campaign. So this will run on the search network, the display network, YouTube video network. If you have a Google Merchant Center feed, performance max will use your Google Merchant Center feed to also create advertisements as well. And performance max will be replacing smart shopping campaigns in 2022 as well. So with all of that, let's click performance max here. You wanna name your campaign. I'm just gonna leave the default name for right now and we're gonna click on continue. So you wanna start with your budget and your bidding. So with budget, let's say I wanna spend $30 a day on this campaign. We're gonna scroll down. So for bidding, if you do have a value, you wanna choose conversion value here. Since I don't have a value attached to my conversions, I'm gonna choose conversions. I like to set a target cost per action and I'm just gonna use the recommended target CPA based on my account's average cost per conversion and we're gonna click on next. Okay, so next is gonna be locations. So you wanna obviously target every single location where your customers are located and able to buy your products or services. Languages, select the languages your customers speak. In this case, I'm just gonna target English. Now for more settings, you can choose an ad schedule. So if you only want your ads to run at certain on certain days or at certain times of on certain days, you can choose that here. You can set start and end dates. The main thing here is final URL expansion. The default option is on and you want to leave this on so it's going to use more targeted URLs when it's likely to result in better performance. So for my example, I'm going to be promoting farmhouse furniture on my website. So for example, if someone's searching for farmhouse bedroom furniture, instead of sending someone to this main farmhouse furniture broad page, they might send them directly to this farmhouse bedroom furniture page. So you want to leave your final URL expansion on, and you can always exclude URLs if you need to. So don't turn this off, keep this on, and now we're ready to click on next and start creating our asset group. Asset groups should be viewed exactly like ad groups where you're grouping together relevant categories and products from your website. And what you wanna do is name your asset group first. So I'm gonna do farmhouse furniture. And what I could do is, let's say after I build my farmhouse furniture asset group, I could always come here and just looking at some of my different categories, create one for bedding, create one for Christmas decor, I could do one for sinks, one for Ray Dunn pottery. So you can create different asset groups to kind of target different interests and different things that people are gonna be searching. So let's come down here. You're gonna see under preview, so YouTube, Gmail, search, display, discover. Your ads are going to run everywhere and what you need to do is provide Google ads with images, videos, headlines, and descriptions and then you wanna enter a final URL here, which could change because we have URL expansion on. And then Google Ads is gonna use all of these assets to basically create advertisements for us that are gonna drive conversions for our business. So let's start here and copy this URL. We're gonna paste it for our final URL. Images, you can add up to 15 images, and there are three different options when you're using images. So I've just uploaded a bunch of different images here you really wanna use large images. So if we just come over here to upload real quick, you can see some of the different requirements. So there are minimum requirements, and then there's three different image types, landscape, square, and portrait. So coming back over to my asset library, what you wanna do is click on your images. When you click on selected, you can choose different ratios for the same image. So let's choose these two ratios for this image, and that will choose two of our 15 assets. So we're gonna keep doing this for these different images. So for this, I could do a square image, I could do 
same thing here and then we could do also do a four by five and just use some different images here so we'll select the rate three ratios so now i'm going to finish my assets okay so i have 15 total assets selected and i try to use every single ratio at least two or three times so now that we have our images we can click on save next is going to be logos so let's add our logos here if we click over here on upload you can see some of the requirements for logo so there's a landscape four by one and a square image with some minimum file sizes so i already have my logos uploaded so i'm going to select them now okay so in my selected assets you can see my two logos here and now we're going to click on save next is going to be videos so google ads will automatically create a video for you but i would highly recommend creating your own video I've uploaded a few videos on YouTube already on my channel. So all you need to do is enter the YouTube URL. So if I come over here and I copy my video URL and we'll just paste it right here. And the main requirement with videos is they need to be 10 seconds or longer. So we're going to choose our video here and I'm going to add the next two. Okay. My three videos selected here. So we're going to click on save. You want to use all five videos. If you have five, I only have three in this case. So I'm just going to use those three. Now next is going to be headlines. So what you want to do here is add all five headlines you wanna use all five of your long headlines. For description lines, you get one 60 character description and four other descriptions. So I'm kinda of gonna fast forward through the ad copy a little bit, but you really just wanna focus on using ad copy that is promoting your business and using customer pain points to basically sell your products or services. So I'm gonna add all of my ad copy now. Okay, so I have my final URL here. I have my 15 images. I have two logos uploaded. I have three different videos. I have now done five different headlines. I have five long headlines. I have one 60 character description. I have all of the other four 90 character descriptions. My call to action is shop now and I entered my business name. Now you can click through here and see what your ad is gonna look like through some of these different channels. So you can see your ads are gonna run everywhere and Google Ads is gonna use all of these assets to create unique advertisements. Now the next thing we need to do is use audience signals. So when I click on add an audience signal, you can use ones that you've created already in previous campaigns. I'm gonna create a new audience right now and we're gonna do farmhouse furniture. Now if you haven't created any custom segments, you wanna create a custom segment now. You can just click on the plus sign and enter all of your keywords to create a new custom segment. In my case, I'm gonna browse and choose some of the different custom segments I've already created. So we're gonna choose this one first. Next, you could use your data. So you definitely want to use your data. I would highly recommend creating a remarketing audience specifically for what you're targeting. So I could use my betting audience when I'm creating a betting asset group. I could use my sinks audience. Right now I have a furniture audience I want to use. So anybody who's visited any of my furniture pages. And then last but not least, we could do interests and detailed demographics. In this case, you can just search. So if I search for furniture, so you're gonna see some of these different in-market audiences. So what I like to do is search and we'll choose furniture here and they also have country furniture. So I'll choose these two. So we have both a furniture, country furniture. We have a furniture remarketing audience and we have a custom segment that we've created. Now you can also use demographics here as well. I'm not gonna change any of this. I'm just gonna click on save and move on to the next step. So we have our audience signal here. It's all geared around furniture our asset group, the advertisements, the ad copy, the images are all geared around furniture. So now we're ready to click on next. So next are gonna be extensions. So you definitely wanna use site link and call out extensions and any other relevant extensions for your business you wanna use as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna use some of the site links, some of the call outs and structured snippets. And I'm kinda of gonna fast forward through this part a bit. Okay, so I have five site link extensions all geared around furniture and one that just links directly to my shop. I have six total call-out extensions geared towards furniture, hand-picked products, top-rated, fast shipping, and then I've done two different structured snippet extensions to go over some different types of products and different styles. So now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so now we need to just review our campaign. We have a performance max campaign. We're trying to drive purchases. We have a $30 daily budget. We're going to maximize conversions with a target CPA of $0.94. Cents. Locations, so I have United States and Canada, make sure that's correct come back over here again. So we have our asset group created. We have all of our different assets there. We have chosen a farmhouse furniture audience and we've used our ad extensions. So now all we need to do is publish our campaign. Okay, so we have a new performance max campaign. It's that simple to create it. You, we went through the entire process and you can see it's down here now. The bid strategy is learning and we should start getting traffic as soon as today or tomorrow. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.